here at the Royal Hospital for Children in Glasgow, we have been using four to one placement model for students for the last little while. For our placement model, we have one student comes face to face each week and the three other students join virtually from home for the four weeks of the placement. So a typical day starts with our morning huddle, which is a team huddle with physiotherapy team and the students join that huddle. And that's just about allocating our patients for the day. After the students and the practice educators have a separate huddle where we just plan out what we're going to do for the day. Then we'll spend some time just getting all the background information. So after that, the student here on site might go and get information from the ward and the students at home will do some research. And then we'll come back together to talk through what information we've found out and how that's going to impact on our consultation. Due to COVID, we no longer could have four students on site at a time, but adding the virtual element to the placement has been a huge success and worked really well. When we go to see our patients, we take along a tablet or a laptop into the room once we have got the patient's consent for this. The consultation tends to be led by the student that's on site, but we actively ask the students that are at home to be involved in the consultation. It's very much that they're seeing the patient together as a team. It's actually worked out really, really well. I've enjoyed being on site, I've enjoyed being virtual. To constantly be able to chat with other students and learn from them, it's been a really good time and I've learned a lot. Although you're not there physically, you can see the patients, you can see what's going on. So while somebody else takes care of the actual clinical aspect of things, it does allow you to have more free time to look up conditions you might not know about, medications you might not know about. It's something you just don't always have on site because you're so busy with the actual people. I wasn't sure what to expect from it, but in the end, it's been an enjoyable experience. When I go away from this placement, I think I will go away with a vastly improved knowledge of respiratory physiotherapy. The advantage of working in a small team and being challenged by placement educators, it's really pushed me to look at my evidence-based practice, and I think that's really been enhanced by the sort of setup that we have here. I'm in Singapore at the moment, and I'm not able to come into the UK to actually complete my placement. So I found this virtual placement really helpful. and I'm really thankful for the university for giving me this opportunity. I would definitely say that I have learned a lot on this placement. So one of the things that we've found that has been really helpful is that we give them projects to work on that have a direct benefit to us as a team so they can work on that during the time where they're not seeing patients. So the first group of students that we had, we asked them to do a small QI project and trying to encourage patients who are on dialysis to move while they're on dialysis and that was really successful. They managed to get that up and running within the first four weeks. We've been able to gain from them as much as they gain from us. The benefits of peer learning is providing the students the opportunity to come together and work out the answers for themselves. I feel very strongly that the students gain so much more from working together as a team than what they do as a one-to-one -one student working alongside a practice educator. They have gained so much in their confidence and in their clinical reasoning for going into their further placements.